challenge. It's day one um, and I actually almost forgot about it <laughs> until I like, remembered and I'm like, holy shit, I need to film that video. So this is day one. 31 Days of Tarot is um, a challenge that Ethany created. So if you follow her, subscribe to her channel and whatnot. Um, but it's a, t a 31 days of pretty much talking all things tarot and oracle. Um, and it's just a fun little challenge. I've already participated in it once. I think it's I did it once. Um, so you could catch a playlist. There's a there should be a playlist for it. Um, I think I did it like two or three years ago. <laughs> um, but this is going to be for 2020. Um, so prompt number one is what tarot goodies did the holidays bring? Um, I had a very small, um, a very small little haul of tarot goodies from the holidays, Christmas season, all of that good stuff. Um, I didn't get a lot of stuff for myself. Um, I had a deck that I pre-ordered and then I, I, it came a lot sooner than I thought it was. Um, and then another thing that I ordered came sooner than I thought because these these were coming outside of the country so um it they came literally just in time for Christmas so it was like a nice little Christmas gift to the self <laughs> so I was able to have something to show you guys for this video so the tarot goodies that I have are um let's start with one of my one thing I was super excited for is a tarot deck created by um broken isn't bad so Broken isn't bad. She creates her own art. She draws and it's all, she does a lot of like tattoo artistry stuff. Um, she has her own prints that you could purchase and she actually came out with a major arcana deck. Um, and so I didn't grab it. I should have grabbed it, but I didn't grab it. <laughs> um, she came out with the, with the major arcanas and this was probably earlier, early, early this year, I want to say, or it could have been last year. Um, and she didn't do the whole tarot deck and then people were urging her to do it and she just started doing it. And next thing you knew, she had the deck out for pre-order. Now, the thing with her is that they went off, like literally she sold out um, really fast. And I remember I put a mental note that I wanted to order this deck because I love the Major Arcanas and it's just like, this is just one of those decks that you're not going to see everywhere. Um, and so I almost missed the pre-order window time. Um, I, re I remember I remembered last minute. I think I saw one of her stories and I was like, oh crap. So I went to her page and it was literally nine minutes until the pre-ordering window was going to be closed. So I ordered this deck just in time. Um, and as soon as she got it printed, it was ready to go. So... I call it the Broken Isn't Bad Tarot because that's what the name she goes by, but she just calls it the tarot deck. Um, when I pre-ordered it, I also ordered the guidebook because why not? And so the guidebook has all these juicy little details of each of the cards. Um, the guidebook does not include images of the cards. So it's kind of, it's pretty like, it's a pretty basic book, um, but I liked it anyway. I still like it. Um, the only thing, the only gripe I have on it though, is that it, it leaves your fingerprints all over the place. It's that kind of card stock or paper or whatever you want to call it. So that's the only thing that sucks. But other than that, I love the deck. So she kept the same, um, card backs as the major arcana, which are black with little crescent moons. Really, really pretty. I love the card stock on this and it's just her artwork and it's absolutely gorgeous. The cards are all black and white. Um, every, every minor arcana is completely illustrated. Some of them follow right or white images, some of them don't. Um, the people in the cards are butt naked, which I absolutely love. Um, I love her work. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see, you'll probably be familiar with the <laughs> with the pictures, with her art style, because I do tend to reblog her artwork on occasion, like a couple times a month. 
because I just love the way she just, I love the way she draws. I love her depictions on things. And this deck is so good. So um, I've used it to read for my husband. I've used it to read for myself. Um, I think it made one debut in a client reading so far. But um, it's one that I choose to work with a little bit more throughout this month. Um, but when it came in the mail, I was so surprised because it was coming from another country and um yeah just so exciting so exciting <laughs> so this is the broken bad broken isn't bad tarot um i believe she's going to be opening up pre-orders again um for the deck i think that she's completely sold out on the deck so far i know she had a couple um, left of the major arcana deck, but I think she's, she only had so many that she started to do a giveaway on it or something like that. So I'm not really sure. Don't hold me to it, but you can check her out, go to her, her website. Um, I'll link the information in the description box. Um, but yeah, this is such a juicy deck. I freaking love it. And it's one of a kind. <laughs> it's one of those decks that you're not going to see everywhere because it's not sold anywhere, but personally by her so I love it um so that was a nice a little gift to receive in the mail literally like the day before the day before Christmas I was so excited <laughs> okay so the other thing that I um ordered for myself was um you guys know I love Baba Studios um Baba Studios has like the Victorian Flower Oracle, the Victorian Romantic Tarot, and my favorite, the Bohemian Gothic Tarot. And so um, a deck that has always been or has been on my wish list for a while now is the Baroque Bohemian Cats Tarot. And I believe they have two, two or three editions or one of them's a mini deck or I don't know. Um, but the, the deck is obviously it's out of print. There is talk of putting it back out so they're going to be reprinting the, the bohemian cats um but probably not for another maybe later this year i don't know um but in the meantime <laughs> if you snag a deck you got to literally look for it on ebay and all that so i found one um and i found my copy on a deck trading um group on Facebook and um, it was a post that had been like a couple months old and I messaged the the woman that was that had made the post and I asked her is this deck still available and she said yes so um because the thing with these deck trading groups is that if you're not on it real fast like people will snag those decks up real real quick especially if they're out of print um, but she still had it. So um, I told her I'm interested and she lived within the States. So shipping was included in her price. And um, it's the first edition. She wasn't sure if it was the first edition or not, but I looked it up and it is the first edition. It's the one I wanted because there's two, there's two versions of this deck. Um, and one of them has no borders. The other one has the borders. And I... <laughs> I don't mind borders. It doesn't bug me. So this one has the borders and that's the one I wanted. So <laughs> when she sent me pictures of the deck, I saw instantly that it had the borders and I knew this was the edition that I was looking for. So um, I paid, I think I paid 160, 150, 160 for it, which is, a, it's, it's a hefty price, but it's, a, it's, to me, it's worth it. Like it's worth it to me. So <laughs> So these are the card backs of Bohemian Cats, and they're all cats, you guys. So if you're a cat person, it follows right or wait. Um, if you're a cat person, you will appreciate it. Sorry, I don't think it is focusing. Um, I love it. I think I have to switch out my um, screen protector because I think it's a little scratched over the, the view thingy so that's why that the, it looks a little blurry so sorry guys I will have to reorder another screen protector look at that hierophant though like usually I cringe at the hierophant but this guy is so cute <laughs> 
So it's all cats. If you appreciate cats, then you'll love this deck. Um, and I definitely plan on buying a copy of their, I guess it would be the third edition whenever they reprint this. But I didn't want to wait a year or so because it takes a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is the Baroque Bohemian Cats Tarot and I was so excited. So yes, and it, it's just the deck. Usually, um, sometimes you could get the box set, which would include the guidebook, but I just got the deck because she didn't have the guidebook. Otherwise, I probably would have bought it. It just comes with a little white book. This deck was printed, it was um, uh, printed 2004. So yeah, not old, but you know. <clears throat> so I was happy. I'm so happy. I'm happy because it's another um, Baba Studios deck to add to the collection. And I just, I, I'm just such a fan. So yay. Um, the last juicy thing that I picked up for myself was a last minute splurge because Baba Studios was having a sale. And I saw that their guidebooks, their compendiums were on sale. And so I decided to pick up the Victorian Romantic guidebook, the compendium, I guess is what you would call it. Um, I don't have, I have, so it, this one is specifically for the third edition, which is the metallic edition, which is this one. So it comes in that greeny aqua, well, it's not really aqua, I guess it would be like teal box. This is the third edition of the um, Victorian Romantic Tarot. So this is the compendium that technically, I guess it goes with the third edition. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I guess, yeah, because the images. <clears throat> and so it has a colored image of the card and then it just goes into great detail of the artwork and the, you know, all of the above. So I am so excited. Um, the only other compendium that I own from Baba Studios is the Bohemian Gothic Tarot, which was gifted to me by someone super sweet. So um, I'm excited to dive into these because I love to read these, like they're just so juicy. Um, so yeah, so that's that was the, the, third, the third thing that I gifted to myself for Christmas. Um, and I'm excited to have that because I love, I love reading these things and oh, it smells like brand new paper. <laughs> and it's just so cool, like I like the way it has the image and color and the rest of it's just, you know, black and white. So I love it. I love guidebooks because you, you, there's like so much more to it when you read like the guidebook than just the little white book. The one compendium that I would love to get my hands on is for the Victorian Flower Oracle. That's going to be on, that's on, on my wish list. So one of these days, one of these days, you guys, I will snag myself a copy, but when it's meant to be, it'll be. So that is my day one of 31 Days of Tarot. Um, so you guys will see a video a day as I go through the 31 days and hopefully I will remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. And if you want to follow through, I will be making a playlist for the 31 Days of Tarot 2020. Um, check the other playlists that I have. I'm pretty sure I have one for um, one of the other challenges I did. So Enjoy and I will see you guys tomorrow for day two. Bye loves.